I got involved in this project as a participant at the start uh, a couple of years ago um, and I completed the course and the following year then I became a mentor on the course. I suppose the project for me benefiting was life changing. Um, with no education behind me before I came onto the project, um, my fitness levels were nowhere where they're at now, you know, um, and I got to learn about, I suppose, addiction, um, health related fitness and actual fitness, you know, so it, it made me go on to further education when I completed the course the first time, you know, and at, at the minute now I'm in college. Um, doing uh, fitness instructor and personal trainer in DCU, and I'm finished that now next month. So, so yeah, it's 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 life changing, definitely. At the moment, I'm doing s small goals. You know what I mean? Trying to m meet my goals, like turning up here, getting through what I have to do here. The long term goal, like I said, is to go back and do a degree. You know, because I know I can. We want to sustain this program. We want to, you know, we really want to continue to push a level of excellence that we believe the program delivers. And by by attaining this award, I think that there's now local and national recognition of what we're doing. I, also, like recently, we, we had a report published from UCD, and I think that them two pieces combined really, you know, really solidify what we're doing. Um, and I suppose when we talk about the programme, we can now pin it to an award like Aintis. So it really recognises that we're delivering quality education. I really want to get out and you know, like do uh, help people like you know, like I love to go into the emergency services because I done uh, I done um, was it, an experience in the fire station, mostly in public services, you know, with Gard Garda Shikana and uh, now I hopefully get love to do an experience in in the uh, paramedics. You know, and see where it goes from there. Hopefully, you want to join up, you know, uh, St John's Ambulance or the Irish Cross. The future is looking positive at the moment. We've secured funding for the the next couple of years, um, on on the back of, you know, I suppose, successful outcomes with regards to what we've done both through the UNTAS and the the Star Award, but also uh, through the the fact that we're hitting our target points. Um, we've had five individuals who have completed or are in the process of completing studies with UCC. We've had um, a few level five qualifications got through the Cork ETB. Uh, we've got quite a number of back to education qualifications at level four, again through the, the auspices of the, the ETB. And, um, we were in a fortunate situation that we also have potentially five or six individuals who have are on the, the cusp of getting employment uh, through a variety of different uh, arrangements with employers. Uh, so it, it's all good. <laughs> when I didn't came to the job, I didn't know what I want. You know, like, you know, as you're a young age, you know, and there's, you know, your mind is around the place, you know. And I stepped in and I, uh, like, I know my pathway to my future, what I want to do now, and uh, I hope to succeed in it, like, you know, thanks to the Village Project, like, for that, like, you know.